Number 86, consider the equilibrium, which is this balanced equation here. I just rewrote it a little bit bigger. So we have 4NO2 gas plus 6H2O gas comes to equilibrium with 4NH3 gas plus 7O2 gas. And then we're letter C in this question. They said if the reaction were at equilibrium, how would an increase in the volume of the reaction vessel affect the pressure of NO2? Okay. So basically, this is Le Chatelier's principle. We're shocking the system, right? So we're shocking the system. We're increasing the volume. We have to figure out what's going on, you know, to come back to equilibrium. Well, this is Le Chatelier's principle. This is the rule for Le Chatelier's principle, right? If you increase a volume, remember, volume is just a space occupied in a, a reaction vessel, right? Let's just say that we were controlling this reaction vessel with like a push down and only this amount of space was able for the, um, the molecules, right? But now all of a sudden I am increasing the volume. I'm pulling back on this lever so that I'm allowing the mixture to now be able to, whoop, and maybe I'll take this, be able to, you know, chill at a, a, at a bigger volume. I'm giving them more space. So what's going to happen? Well, you have more space, so more of the molecules can come and hang out. That's what's basically going on here. If you have more space, right, you increase the volume, you have more space. So you shift to always the more mole side. More, more space just means that you have more things to fill it. So Let's see, we just have to find out which one has the more moles. And that comes from the gas. But in this case, we own, you know, all of them have gases. So all we have to do is just add up those coefficients. To find out the moles, we just look for the coefficients. On the left-hand side, I see that I have four moles of NO2, and I have six moles of H2O. So four plus, literally plus, six is a total of 10 moles on my reactant side. Let's do the same thing for the products. There's four moles of NH3 and then seven moles of O2. So four plus seven is 11. 10 versus 11, this side has more moles. So, if you increase the volume, you always shift to the more mole side. You want to be towards the product. So the reaction that's going to take place is going toward the more mole side. So we know that you're going to be making more of your products and you're going to be making less of your reactants. So that's in general. So this side is going to decrease and this side is going to increase. Now they specifically asked for what's going to happen to the pressure of NO2, AKA they're just wondering, you know, what's going to happen to the, the numeric value of the pressure of NO2. Since we said that we're going in the forward direction and all of this is going to drop and here's NO2, right? Maybe I'll just make that a different color. Here's NO2 and it's on the reactant side. NO2 is going to drop just like the pressure of H2 would drop and these two would increase. So what's going to happen to the pressure of NO2? I'll just put P to signify that it's pressure. And I'm just going to say NO2, the pressure of NO2 would decrease. We don't know by how much, but we know that it would have to drop or decrease. And that's the final answer. So hopefully it's helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to. I think we have one more part in this question, so hang tight, all right? I will see you there. Have an awesome day. I'll see you in five seconds. Okay, bye.